So here's how it works. First, we took out the engine, and instead we put four smaller engines inside four wheels. Second of all, in that empty space which we needed, we put propulsion. It's called DEP, Distributed Electric Propulsion. It's eight propeller, motor, speed controller, battery systems, independent of each other, controlled by central computers. Third of all, we created what is called mesh. So mesh, which is on top, first of all, it allows for the air to come through for the vertical lift. And second of all, that allows the structure of the car, it's a structural element. Now, according to our calculations, number were numbers were more than enough for over 92% of the commute. Which means over 90% of the commute actually is between 10 and 30 miles, and over 95% of the commute is one or two person vehicle. Also, there is one important feature here. It's extremely lightweight, if you look at it. It's extremely, extremely lightweight because Oleg and Constantine designed something like was a specially laid out carbon fiber, sometimes impregnated with other materials, which made this car extremely light. Not only it's extremely light, it's actually stronger than 70% of the cars built today. Which means it is lighter and stronger because of the materials they do. The next step was actually to see if all of this design actually worked in a real life. And it did. So we built a full-size prototype which could drive, vertically take off, and fly. But who in a right mind would allow this to fly anywhere? Well, FAA, US government. So we actually received permission to vertically take off and fly, being the first car in history which was allowed for government to vertically take off and fly. With very limited, obviously, with limited functionality, with experimental, not commercial, but still, this car is actually allowed to fly. Remember I told you that we're extremely light. Because we're extremely light, in several countries, in Europe, in Asia, and in America, we are legally allowed to fly today with limited capabilities. The capabilities is limited, but yes, in several countries, several big countries, for example, Canada, uh, UK, you can today vertically take off and fly this car. Now, remember we had a question, billion, billions of cars aboard Berlin, how that gonna work? Well, it turns out to be that FAA and EASA have very, very smart people and other aviation authorities around the world. So, FAA and NASA, at least in the United States, already have something which resembles highways in the sky. They're used mostly for what's called AM, Advanced Air Mobility. Um, they're being rolled out very slowly. This is mostly for drones, um, EVTOLs, and everything else but it already exists, and it 